Hello everyone. Welcome back to Skibos Gaming. Well, let's get ready for an, another adventure journey in Elden Ring. Let's see. So I was here. Yeah, this is where we left off from last time, defeating uh, the boss in here, in this place. And so, um, before I venture further uh, and get out of this this area, I've learned that uh, I want to collect a few more plants that I saw in here earlier and it, I wasn't sure what they were for but uh, the plants I'm looking for uh, let's see we have them crafting items Let's see, should be in here, maybe. Right here, this is what I'm looking for. Ghost clove wart. So these things, the ghost clove wart, add strength to your spirit ashes. That's these guys over here. Uh, let's see, should be here. Right here. So they upgrade them and give them um, stronger uh, attack. They last longer in the battle. And right now I'm using the Militiman Ashes. And these guys can resurrect from the dead. Unless they uh, attack when they are down, and then they don't. At that point, they won't be able to resurrect. But it's a very small chance. Uh, once the opponent is, once they are down like that, that the uh, boss would try to finish them off. So I think I missed one in here, and I want to get it. Before I move on, now that I disable all the fire, should be the fire traps should be easier and safer to get in here. Unless I run into some more of those skeleton guys that might be alive. Yeah, this is where I want to go. Yeah, climb up this ladder. I thought I left one that I didn't get. But if not, then it's not a big deal. I might be down here. On this platform. Yeah, I attempted to get this last one. There it is. Grave clove wart and ghost clove wart. And that's it. Now, uh, we need to exit this cave first. By using the The boss lamp over here. Hmm. That fog looked interesting just then. Let's see if we're missing anything. All right. Off we go.
All right, so we're gonna now venture into some new areas. Look like night time, and I don't want night. I prefer the day so we don't run into night bosses. Ah, uh, let's see. I don't. I thought this. Yes, there's a grace here. Use this. Last time until morning. And now we're good to go. Okay, so we will take on a couple bosses, venture into a new area, maybe even take on some mini boss like uh, some of the trolls. And just uh, focus on getting further into this game, progressing through. My character is quite uh, fairly developed, pretty good for this stage of the uh, for this stage of the game. Now, see that giant, that big guy right there, that troll. We're gonna go ahead and take him on. along with a couple of other enemies along the way. It's an interesting structure up there. Okay, so uh, I've learned that this, stru this structure right here, if you go up to it and interact with it, it will point a laser in a certain direction. You follow the laser or the beam or whatever it is. Uh, it will lead you to a certain cave or cavern uh, where you'll then discover treasure or special items. So that's pretty cool. Pretty adventurous. Yeah, along the way, I'm hoping to get to that uh, the communion place where the, uh, the guy told us about earlier in the, in the last playthrough, where the dragon the dragon communion after defeating the dragon, we should be able to trade in the dragon's soul or the dragon's heart for a dragon ability. Ah, how about we take this guy on right here? Too strong. Heavy attack. Woo! I wanted to get that heavy attack on him to get him on the ground. Oh wow, he's pulling a sword out now. So each time you drop one of these big troll giant guys 
you can get a thousand rune. A thousand rune for each one. Gonna venture on down here. There should be a cavern, a cave, or something down on the end. We're gonna go in there. There's some bosses in there, and uh, a number of different cool items to collect. Oh, actually, there is an invisible creature here. And if you can hit this guy, you have to stand in the path where he's traveling. If you can hit this guy, you can collect a special item. Ah, it's always tricky hitting him. Let's see here. Yeah, he comes. The timing has to be right. Oh, wow. I must have been so close on the... to make the connection on him. I must have been... Oh, I think I may have been off a little bit. Maybe a little bit right here. Wow. I did it with a different sword before. This sword has a long and a wide arc to it, which allows you to... There it is. Nice. Got it. Ash of War Stump Sweep. So, it's... One of these abilities right here. Right here. So the ashes of war. Okay, now that we got that out of the way. Check this beach out a little bit further here. Look like one loon guy here. Scrape of scrap of white flesh. Not sure exactly what that's for yet, but with the crafting items. Be able to craft up a bunch of different things like this, using all this stuff here, crafting. You can craft bombs, you can craft special uh, stuff to aid you, it increase your stamina, increase strength attack, different things like that, immunities. So I've taken on a few trolls, but I haven't taken on these uh, land octopus yet. I heard that they're quite dangerous, but the idea is to get close to them and hit the face. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Tentacles. Uh. <laughs> wow.
That's what I want right there. Right there. That's a good hit. Land octopus ovary. Okay. We'll find out what we can do with that sometime. Ah, oh, come on. I just beat your mother. Hey! There's something right, right here. Something white. Okay, another ovary here. Do I want to take this other guy on? Or should I quit while I'm ahead? Ah, uh, no. I think I'm going to take him on. A real beamer don't do that. Let's see if I could get his face here. There it is. There it is. Got it. Oh, okay, he's not dead yet. What did he do? He gave himself some help by eating one of his arms. All right. I can use some some runes to increase my status here. Okay, let's venture further on in here. Check this out, make sure I'm not missing anything. Rune fragment. Feathers can be used for certain things of these birds. I'm not sure, but uh, but they're used for, yeah. Two feathers already. Thought there was another bird. Further down the beach. I'm supposed to get the first hit. These guys can hit hard. There's a make these guys here. Yeah. Not bad, man. Fighting from the horse does have some advantage, but 
Getting the proper reach can sometimes be a problem. Falcon sword. So there's a cave here. I think this is the cave here that I'm looking for. Gonna go in there. And then so yeah. Look like a merchant right here. Let's see what he has here. Amorous cookbook. Simulating. Okay, so. so. Now, I don't have a bow. Short bow. I can use a bow, but I won't need it yet. Iron round shield, okay. I'll collect these guys here. All done? Well, be on your way then. I will. Okay, now we'll check this. Cave out. See if I'm missing anything over here. Time to venture into this cave on the right. Uh, there should be a bunch of guys in here. Multiple bosses, maybe mini boss. Rest at the grace, replenish my flax or any damages. Yeah, let's see if I have enough to level up. I'm a little short. It's dark in here. I recently figured out a quicker way to get my get to my lap by going into the quick uh, item. He's dark cave. Wow. I can hear the screaming going on. A lot of activity in here. Okay, that wasn't bad. They seem intimidating. Cave moss. Not sure what that's for yet, but when I start experimenting with uh, item crafting. Okay, some guys right here waiting to ambush as you jump down. Let's see if I can try the luck. Okay, this is. Yeah. 
getting him out of the way. Hey! It's always good to get a get in the right position to gain the advantage right away. Otherwise, it, you can very easily become overwhelmed by the enemies. Get them down as quick as possible. Let's see where I want to go, I think. This direction here. Yeah. It seems I could have gone further around the corner over there. Nine octopus ovary. Okay, so I have a choice here. I can summon this guy here, this NPC. Old summon sign. Let's see, yeah. So, tough cool summon. Old knight. It's stubborn. Why not? Now, once I summon him, I can't use. I can't use my my other guys. But I think it's a good idea to summon NPCs because you it's you can start a quest line with them. There may be a quest line. There may be a quest line that you need to uh, start with these guys. So, all right. Yeah, he is. Okay. So we need to take on the trouble guy over here. Come on now. Let's get this guy down. Nice. We got him. Tailoring tools. Sewing needle. Okay. This guy look like he is begging for mercy. Okay, now that their now that their leader is down, they went into submission. So I won't I won't cause any further harm to them. Just want to examine this area a little bit more, just in case I'm missing something here. So we see it here.
That's where we came in. Check this out. Warrior required ahead. Warrior. Okay, so we got this area covered. Now, instead of exiting this cave as you would usually do, using the teleport light over here, we need to go straight by that and go into this direction. Because the dragon guy told us about this place. There's some place I need to get to in order to receive dragon ability. Should take me all the way outside somewhere. And now we are on the other side of where we started across the water from across the water. That entrance over there. That's where we went into. And uh, I guess somehow on the ground came out on this side. Let's see if I can remember where this we should be pretty close. Let's go right here. We're gonna use this grace. That's the place right there. Church of Dragon Communion. So this is that place that the guy talked about. After defeating the dragon, you can do this. You can come here and use the dragon heart to uh, receive another item. All right, so... Ah, uh, dragon heart. Channel dragon to spawn flame breath. So I don't know if this breath comes from the from your character's mouth. This one channel channels dragon to rend foes with dragon claw. So that's pretty cool as well. Down dragons to bite foes before caster. So you can actually turn into a dragon and literally like bite an enemy. Uh that sound pretty cool, but and then the hand smash is good. The hand smash. Kinda like that. I like the dragon breath. The fire. I think I'll go with this one. 
So as you can see, I need Fate and Akeen to be able to use this on the bottom right in the, the red number saying 15. And then 15 Fate, uh, Akeen 12. So I'll need to increase Fate to 15 and Akeen to 12. I'll go with this. Alright. Ah, looks like he drank it. Just drank it down. Now. We'll move out from here and go... What is this glow in here? Oh, it's another one of the... Golden Rune. Give you a little bit more rune than Fragment Rune. There's something white up there. On the top of the rune up there. See if I can get up there. Up and away. Ah, that's an interesting sign there. Good message. Dark. Salted flesh. I'll make my way down here. I can hear a familiar tingling sound. Usually those items you can get um, smitting stone or some type of ashes of war ability from. There he is, right down there. Two hand this for a stronger attack. Samba Smitting Stone. And the Samba Smitting Stones uh, use to upgrade your weapon, reinforce special armament. Now this little island, I think we're done with this island now. Let's see where to here. Uh, Oh wow, it's a feisty little goat. You really gonna force me to do this to you? Brass bone, oh beast bone. So these bones you can use to make knives. So it's useful farming them. If you need to know where you can make uh, throwing knives or Maybe even arrows. Alright, so where I want to go to now is we're gonna go to Storm Hill Shack. And from Storm Hill Shack, we're gonna 
confront a really strong boss. I've avoided him all the way through until now. Um, he's actually an early boss, but uh, known to be quite strong. But I'm going to stop right here and I'll come right back to take on this boss. We'll be back for more adventure. And to take these boss on, we're going to get back for this encounter with the boss. <laughs>